here to Dole Farm, coming back to you from the hayfield. Tattering, fluffing, whichever one you want to call it. Tatter hook, that can see it in the morning. Kaboom, out here. Fluffing this field of hay. I ain't doing the whole field, I'm just doing portions of it that, uh, Really and truthfully, this this hill here mainly what I'm gonna be doing. But anyway, uh, it is the Fourth of July, so I hope everybody has a safe and, and good day. Been a busy day for me. I've been out here fluffing hay and I just got back from work, cutting grass at school. I had to go cut baseball and softball fields. And did that. Working on my parents' storage building. That, Y'all gonna see in a video here before too long, trying to get it finished up. So it's been a busy, busy day for me. So. But it's the last thing for the day. And I'm gonna go to my godchildren's house, play with the baby, and eat a hamburger and a hot dog, and watch some fireworks at a while over the church. So. But anyway, I'm not going to shoot a whole lot of video because y'all seen Ted before and I ain't doing a whole lot of it. Like I said, just this hill and a few thick patches on this bigger portion here of this field. So anyway, bluffing away. I've got 18 acres on the ground. And Double D, I believe, he's got, I don't know, he's probably got somewhere between 15 and 18 yeah he's probably got close to 20 acres on the ground too so he probably got about 30 there's somewhere between 30 and 40 acres we, uh, hey we got on the ground right now so i should be able to bail this tomorrow uh, afternoon so looking that's what i'm looking towards getting out here tomorrow afternoon if it don't rain this evening or in the morning i'm gonna be looking to Bail this hay tomorrow because it's drying very, very good with the heat that we've got. So, but anyway, just wanted to tell y'all in on what's going on on the 4th of July. See, so just loving up some hay. So, y'all have a good one. Be back next time with some raking and bailing. So they didn't get any rain. Uh, I don't know how much we got. We were at church when it rained. Uh, I know my mama and my uncle said that it, their church, or my mama's church, uh, came a big rain, or a good rain. Uh, and supposedly the way they said it rained more church, and church is like five miles from here as well. They're uh, my old home church. And, uh, so they got a good rain, but we got some rain. I don't know how much it, I didn't even look to check to see if it even registered in the rain gauge or not. Rain enough to where I am out here now. Um, hold on a second. Sorry folks, I uh, got a little puzzled there because that truck right there is a DNR agent. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. That the guy and then my neighbor's son pulls up on a four wheeler. I don't know what he's at. He got a bucket out there. I don't know what he's doing. That's very odd. I'm guessing that that's a dual wheel truck. I posted the other day. Saw one video I did the other day when I was doing checking on the spray and. Somebody had been out here in a dual wheel truck. Must be him. I'm gonna have to find out what's going on with that. But anyway, we did get some rain, and so yeah, I'm out here. I don't think it's hurt too bad. Uh, I didn't think I was. It's dry. I think it has dried. I'm gonna turn it over. I don't know what's gonna get drop a few rain up uh, raindrops on me whenever I was getting out here started. But I don't know. I hope, I hope it don't rain again so I can bail this tomorrow. I really do. Uh, I, I could probably bail it this evening, but I ain't, 
there ain't busting that because I'm gonna have to use the Kubota for raking and bailing. So probably tomorrow, I'll probably just do it tomorrow, rake it up tomorrow, and bail it if it don't get no rain tonight. Uh, it stayed cloudy a good bit this morning for a good little while. Uh, probably didn't get sunny till. Gosh. I don't know, almost midday before it got sunny. Well, no, I could, it probably left 30, no, almost midday, yeah. So, but anyway, um, so, I, uh, said I, decided I'd come on out here, hook the tether back up, cleaned around, bailing it all up, bailing double D's, hey, went ahead and hooked this tether back up. I'd come on out here and turn this over. Like I said, it look, looks pretty dry, but I'm going to give it one more day to get all the wetness out of it. Where it did come a shower last night. Go from there. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, anyway, it's still going to be pretty decent. Thank the guy that buys my hay is still wanting it. So. But anyway, that's what we out here are uh, doing. Loving out this field. I got to replace two wheels on my, my tether. The rims are really rusted about all the way through. One of my tires just completely flat. I pumped it up earlier today and it leaked out about as quick as I had pumped it up. So I got to buy a couple new tires this weekend for it. But, but anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on the first cut head. Uh, um, Hopefully we'll get back out here tomorrow and get some footage of bailing and or raking and bailing. So, see you then. Well, folks, out here raking this hay up. Today, you got out here. It's nice and dry. So, excited to get out here and get it raked up. It's early, fairly early. And I want to go ahead and get started then. I see as warm as it is, dude's done got off of it. Page dry, so might as well go ahead and get out here and get it done. So working away at it. Got uh, six, this is number seven row here. Of course, a pretty long wind rows between the big field here and the square field, so. Once I finish here, I'll figure out one more windrow in that square field and I'll be done with it. So, I'm going to be focusing on this big field here once I get done with that. So, early in the video, I mentioned I was out here tanning and uh, had a DNR truck out here uh, in the dove field. Sitting right, right there in the dove field got me inquisitive about what was going on um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up or not and I've seen these things but right I ain't going to be able to point but if you can see it the wind's blowing a, a black bag out there uh, and then if I can pick it up there's a red one right there um, I asked my neighbor that does the dove field I asked him what the DNR officer would be out here for and he told me they're actually banding some doves they're trying to catch some doves and putting bands on them so pretty interesting even more interesting they're using our dove field for uh, that project so I don't know if they've been able to catch and band any yet or not but, uh, oh, that was Pretty interesting. Thought I'd let y'all know what I had found out about why the DNR truck was out here. It's always good. DNR is trying to do the research, and banding these animals. It's an ongoing project, especially. Cause you gotta know those populations and see those populations. And of animals that are out there to keep those populations thriving and be able to control the hunting limits and all that. A lot of people don't understand that. 
Of course, that's one of the things that I teach hunters Ed. Uh, very passionate about that because uh, as youth of the day, you gotta teach them and make them understand that conservation is very important. Uh, you gotta conserve those natural resources and we just don't have game wardens out there that are trying to bust you for doing the wrong thing. There are a lot of folks who work for DNR that are making a difference and improving habitat and that type of stuff. I've got a, actually got a former student that works for DNR. He, uh, that's all he does, I think, is does food plots and stuff like banding those birds and stuff like that. So that's a very important part of uh, the Department of Natural Resources and, and what they do. So, that a lot of people don't understand that, but it is a, a very important part of that. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on that. Like I said, we mows in alone in this very field using the 74 in Uncle. Got the uh, 1135 up to the litter spreader. Got to start spreading some turkey litter. I don't mind using the 7040 because I'm in the AC, so it don't bother me at all. So. But anyway, I'll come back shortly and be rigging or uh, bailing some hay. Stay tuned. Second or third bale and cut the string is because this short, some of this hay is thick and short, and so it's accumulating. And so, but anyway, it's going well. I think I've got 14. Let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I've actually got 15 bales on the ground, I think. So my count serves me right. So it's actually producing pretty good. So. I'm all, well, I'm, I'm halfway done, so I'm not almost done, but I am halfway done, so it is done. Clouds look like they're building up, so maybe we'll get some rain this afternoon and get all this hay bailed up, so that'll be a, 
a very good thing to get some rain after I get all this bail. So, but anyway, I'm off to keep checking along at it. Like I said, the baler's doing pretty well. And uh, we're just going to keep moving along. I'll give you an update when I get done here. A few short minutes. Well, hello there, folks. Uh, it is the next day, Saturday, July the 8th. And I am out here picking up bales of hay. Got done baling this hay yesterday. Hold on one sec. Now, like I said, I uh, was saying, hopefully my phone ain't gonna fall. I got it on the little thing mounted on the window. But anyway, been on all this yesterday, of course. Got some video of that. Uh, I showed a picture of the sky. And uh, so it looked like the clouds were building up. And they were. Uh, I got home with the baler, which was a couple hundred yards. Got home with the baler. Actually, I opened it up to start cleaning it. And, uh, running the house, come back out, cut the tractor off, get ready to start cleaning. And boo 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 boo, thundered a couple of times. So, well, I better stop. So I did. I stopped, closed the baler up, actually backed the baler under the shed where I keep it, it in the Kubota. And, uh, got it under there. And uh, got in the house, and then the bottom dropped out. And it rained for, it rained off and on probably two hours, two more hours. So, uh, rain gauge only showed a tenth of an inch, but we had a lot of wind, so I'm sure we probably got probably two inches. I'd, I'd venture to say we got two inches of rain in that. Um, that we got yesterday. So, what was a God saying? Was a God saying that I got this hay bailed? Uh, when I did, was able to get it rolled up. So now I'm out here picking it up this morning. Guys, coming to get it today. Uh, gonna come pick all this hay up. So, I was going to do this yesterday afternoon. Of course, with all the rain. Uh, and then I ended up going over to Double D, and uh, he still needed to get all his square bales situated. He had them on a trailer. He needed to get, he needed to get them situated. Uh, so I uh, ran, went over there, and that wasn't until about 5:30. I got over there and took us. Oh, about an hour and a half to get all his bail, square bail situated. Uh, did good getting it up when we did because it started thundering on us, lightning. I don't know if it ever rained again, but it was it was pressing that way. So luckily we got all the square bales. Actually, I think it did start dropping on rain on us. So, so luckily we got all his square bales under tarps and. Got him taken care of. All he's got to do is get his round bells up. He'll be set. So. so anyway, so finally got this field bell. Thank the Lord. Getting it up now. Getting it sold. So it's been a journey on on doing this hay this time, so, which it always is, but. This time seems like it was even more of a journey, but it's all right. We got it done. Good Lord. As well as this, he always is. He took care of us. We got it knocked out. So, getting it sold. Uh, I'd like to, as I said, I'd like to get some fertilizer on this field, but I don't know that I'm going to have time. Got a busy Monday coming up, and then I've actually got to 
take a work trip for a few days. And I don't know if I'm gonna get any fertilizer on here or not. I may be, by the time I get fertilizer on, then it's gonna be probably a couple weeks since I built it, but I reckon that's better. Better late than never, I guess you could say, so. We'll see. I'll put the fertilizer on for and bring y'all along on that journey. So. But anyway, I'm on uh, end this here video. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Uh, please give us a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, see more, more coming. So we got two. Uh, fields of first cutting to do so we got some more hay to do and a lot of other things going on around the farm so stay tuned and uh god bless each and every one of you we'll see you in the next one